Hello, uh, I've been working with iExpressions for a while and I thought I'd uh, make a quick demonstration of how good iExpressions uh, is. It's available obviously on AE Scripts for $100, which is say £70, and it's worth every single penny because just now I've been animating this, uh, this sun and I'll show you what I did that makes life so much easier. So I've made it into a shape layer. Um, and the first one here, uh, I'll pull it back to the beginning here, what we'll do is just add, a, we've added a trim path, I assume you know how to do that. Uh, we'll start full, go to a second, uh, maybe go down to 50, that's about right. Uh, then scroll over to 2 seconds, and then do 100. What we'll do is just uh, F9 it, and you'll see there, it goes up and down, which is brilliant. But instead of going copy and then paste and then paste, which would give you the, the same thing effectively, uh, what we'll do here is highlight them all. Uh, I'll go thing, so you go to loop, just hit loop. Okay, it's here. Highlight the, ah shit, highlight the three keyframes. We're gonna do a seamless cycle, click apply, And that's it there. Just goes in and out, in and out all the time. Uh, and what's great about it as well, because I didn't actually put that on bang on one second. Uh, let's say I did it deliberately. Uh, we just move it back and it alters in the future as well. It's a, it's such a time saver because if you've ever tried to copy and paste keyframes, it's, it's not always as easy as it looks. Uh, so for this one here, I'll just continue on with it to show what else I'm going to be doing here. So we will do, we to highlight the trim path here, and we'll go to four, which is the next, uh, two, three, oh, why is it wrong? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Again, paste that. Beautiful. Uh, three, one, so, oh. seems to be all over here. Uh, <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm trying to get there. Uh, and then this one here. Oh, I wish I put them in order. Put your stuff in order, makes life easier. So here we go there, and then we have them all doing it apart from that end bit. Uh, I suppose might as well, you probably had this problem as well. <coughs> so this one here, where is it? This one here. The path's been put in the wrong, the wrong way. So all you do is uh, go to path. Oh shit! Uh, what we'll do actually is just rotate it to there. It's sometimes difficult to take that keyframe, that 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 little uh, handle for there. So there we go there. And if you put a rotation keyframe on it, you can spin it around. Which I am going to do. Might as well just do it here. Uh, what we'll do is don't make it too extreme. So what I'm also going to do is, if you want to watch, um, is we have got the keyframes here. So the alternative keyframes, uh, we want to have. There, let me just put these two up here out the road so I know which one I need to do. There we go. So these four here, I'm going to do the same for this section here. So we'll sc scrub back to the beginning. Uh, we'll add a trim path to this one here. Trim path. Uh, and we'll just go keyframe uh, 50. Is that how I did? Was it 50? Well, that's wrong as well. 100. So Typical, it's uh, around the wrong way as well, so we just rotate it. Oh, just take 180 easier. Uh, there you go, so doing the same thing. We'll just do frame it here, and we shall just highlight these frames, click on apply in our expressions, and it will continue on. But they're all going at the same time. Well, we'll see what we'll do is then pull this back 
then I'll open it forward because it should do the keyframe before, does it? It does. Just pull it in the middle so it's doing the opposite uh, of the other one. So if we go, here we go. So all we need to do is just click on trim path here and then go to four, five, six, seven. We should have them there and paste them in and we should have a full Oh yeah, there's, there's one straight one, one second. There's one straight one. What is this doing? Uh, that one there. So, fuck, you know, that is annoying that actually when you click R. Uh, you have to actually open it up here and this is another keyframe that you can tell me about. Turn it around. Or does this do it properly? It does! Look at that! A beautiful sun! Is that not beautiful? And that's, it probably took me longer than it should have done because I didn't name the paths properly or do the paths properly in the illustration but that's how easy it is and totally worth the money when you buy eye expressions from uh, what's it called AE scripts totally totally utterly worth the money so hopefully this has been useful I don't do tutorials that much or at all but I felt it was worth it this morning because it's such an amazing um, expression tool excellent right well subscribe or don't subscribe comment or don't comment uh, it's really just for, for your benefit, because it's so cool. Excellent. Right. Cheers. Bye.